Alright, so welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. And let's get straight into today's video because in today's video we have a very interesting video. We have a new event. Uh, the Black 5 Turntable, whatever it's called. Brand new event. This was not in the game last year on Black Friday. Black Friday, obviously one of the biggest celebrations. Um, not only for the game, but for the world. Um, this event is very interesting. Brand new event, never seen it. There is three different tabs. We're going to be going over the rundown on the full event in this video. Um, because it is very interesting. Some people have pointed out some things to me. Um, but let's go over the first thing is the gem wheel. Now this is exactly the same as CT. It just goes around in a circle. You get random rewards. Um, this is bugged as hell. Not sure what the hell this means. Um, but anyway, the only good reward on the very first uh, spin or roulette or whatever you want to call it is the 10k diamonds and the 100 tickets. Now, you do get 10 tickets every time you do 10 pulls. And you do get chest rewards as well for doing pulls. So as you can see, it goes up to 500 pulls. Now, these green tickets are very, very, very important. Because they are used on the second roulette. So obviously the first one only 10k diamonds 100 tickets is really the only thing worth it maybe some quench stones uh, but the rest is complete trash way too low um, now the second one is using the green tickets now this one is very interesting because someone pointed out to me that you can actually get all the rewards because if we go into the uh, rules section uh, you can obtain all rewards from the wheel when you have drawn 16 times so obviously the aim is to get all 16 tickets. Now from the very first from the very first spin, you can actually get four tickets in total from the boxes. Um, but you have to do 500 draws in total. Um, so that's four out of the 16 tickets. And then you also for the diamond box, also for the chest rewards for this one, you actually get diamonds back. So it's actually quite nice. You actually get 9.5k in total. I do have some notes that we'll be going over, but some of the rewards are actually quite nice. You know, you get a selection chest of a flag, which is very, very nice. 120c king shards is also amazing. Uh, you get 100 tickets as well from here. Uh, and then you also get only one uh, of red adventure soul, one advancement skull. The rest is kind of whatever. Uh, maybe better for some newer players, but for me, none of this is even that great. Um, but the main rewards are these ones on the left-hand side. Now, let's move to the third tab, which is the shop, because the shop is very important. I'm going to go down to the item section first. The item section, why am I going down here, is because you can actually buy three a day from the uh, shop you can buy three tickets a day so that's nine plus four you can have 13 tickets in total uh green tickets in total for the second uh wheel which is very interesting now obviously the rest of this shop the only good thing to buy is the awaken alloys and the uh, food chest the rest is way too low really bad uh, but you really want to get these green tickets just going quickly over the other shops. The only good characters in this entire thing is Nami, Sanji, Jerma, and, and Law. Law is obviously the main prize, so if you don't have Law, this event might be worth it. I'm not going to say it's 100%. I'm not going to say it's worth it because Zori is so close. you got to keep in mind, Azura Zori is so close to be releasing. He could be the next event uh, on the 25th for GP. So do keep that in mind if you're going on this event. Um, and then obviously the same thing for the flags and the uh, weapons. But let's go back to the lucky roulettes. This is the main thing that you're going to be going over. So I do have some notes, as I said, we're going to be going over. Which is very, which is very important for this event. So going over some of the notes for this event. So in order to do 500 pulls and get those four green tickets that we did talk about earlier in the video, you need to use 35,000 diamonds. Now, this is quite a lot, considering there's only two good rewards on the first uh, wheel. But you also get 130 red tickets. Uh, now, the second wheel, as we said, is not random. You receive all the rewards once if you do all 16 green tickets. And then, as we stated, you can also buy three tickets a day, so nine total. 
Uh, and then the 500 pulls plus the three a day from the shop equals 13 green tickets. So you need three green tickets left in order to finish the second wheel. My bad. Uh, in order to... So basically, you need to top up a 980 pack and a 300 pack to get the last three tickets. Uh, now the second wheel, as we did go over, you do actually get some diamonds back. So it actually only costs you 24.5k diamonds because you're actually getting 9.5k back from the second wheel chests. So it's only costing you 24.5k. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, you do get guaranteed 100 tickets from the second uh, wheel. So you're actually getting 230 red tickets. Um, just a couple of things to keep in mind. Maybe if you don't have lore, maybe it's worth it. You also get 120 seed kings shards, which is nice in the flag selection chest. Um, but as I said, you guys need to be very careful. It might be worth it if you don't have lore. But do keep in mind, the next awakened character is going to be coming extremely soon. I highly recommend skipping. But as I said, it can be maybe worth it if you don't have lore. So you get 100 tickets here, so you have 230 in total. Um, and then the top up, as I said, there's your last three tickets. Just top up 980 and 300 gems. And there you go. Or even 300 a day maybe might be cheaper. Um, but yeah, that's the rundown of the event there. As I said, I highly recommend skipping. Maybe it's worth it for lore. Um, but that's the math. The drop rates aren't that great, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but as I said, I did the rundown on the math and all that good stuff for you guys. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I really hope to see you guys in the next video.